Hello and welcome back to another beer review. I'm Ben the Beer Lad and today I'm going to be doing a first for me. This is going to be a blind taste test um, and this is going to be between Hobgoblin's Golden Beer at 4.5% and Harper's Golden Ale at 4.5%. Both of these I picked up from Aldi. This cost £1.09 pence. This cost £1.39 and as you can see there's a uh, it's meant to be pretty much the same beer. Um, I think I've already reviewed the Golden Ale before. I think I've already reviewed Hobgoblin before. Never done them side by side because I didn't really know they were a thing until probably last month. So with that, I, let's crack on. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give the bottles to the lovely lady. She's going to open them in the kitchen, pour the glasses, bring them back to me. So I'll do that now. Let me take the, both of the bottles. And then she's going to bring, open them, pour the glasses, bring them back to me. Not tell me which one's which. Um, I'm going to hold them up so that way you can compare them, see what they are. And I'm going to blindfold myself, hold up the bottle and the glass with which one's relative to the, that one. And then um, drink them and smell them and stuff. And we'll see what it ha see how it goes. Should be interesting. Um, I'd like I say, I've never done anything like this before. Um... And I've kind of got this one planned as well for Hobgoblin's Ruby IPA or Ruby Beer and Harper's Ruby IPA as well. Um, so, yeah, let's crack on and see what we've got. Right then, to introduce the first beer, it is... This one. Um, one of the two. It's got a pretty crystal, nearly yeah, slightly hazy looking colour, um, golden as it says, with a off-white ivory head. There's just a bit of dirt in my um, glass. Yeah, that's what that one looks like. We'll go on to the second one now and see what that one looks like. Right, introducing the second beer. This one, pretty similar in colour. Um, oh, just to say I've got the same glass, just so that way it's a good um, control. Like I say, pretty similar in colour, pretty golden, off-white, ivory head, compact bubbles. It looks pretty identical. Um, so yeah, let's get blindfolded and see if I can guess which one, or just, just to see which one's better, and then we'll get back to it and I'll get revealed which one was which. So I'll see you when I'm blindfolded, or not see you when I'm blindfolded. Right, so as you can see, because I can't, uh, currently blindfolded. This is the beer that I've got. Um, like I said, I can't see. Uh, so that is either Hobgoblin or Harper's, and that's what it looks like. Um, and then I'll come back in a second with the other one, and then you can sort of see in comparison and stuff. So yeah, I'll see you in a sec. Right, this is the second beer, like I say, it's either Hobgoblin or Harper's. Um, again, don't know what they look like, because I can't see. Um, so just for your sake, this is this beer. Uh, I'm going to pass the bottle over now and then get the glass from the first beer. So that way, in your view, you should have beer number two, and then this will be beer number one. There we go. There we go. So that's beer number one in my left hand, and beer number two in my right hand. So what we'll do is we'll go for a smell first, see if I can smell a difference. So here we go. It's okay, nice and hoppy, a little malty, um, beer number two. Slightly milder in the smell, um, still hoppy and malty, but like slightly milder. So if I was to guess just by now, say that one's Harper and that one's Hobgoblin, but I don't know, so we'll find out in taste which one's better. So, we'll go for body and card for beer number one. Body's light, medium, carbs quite light. Um, body and card for beer number two. Exactly the same. I can't notice the difference in body and carb. Right, um, big old taste time. Number one, cheers. It's 
crisp. It's you can tell it's a golden ale. Um, it's slightly malty, sort of coats the tongue. Nice little hops, bit of fruit, bit of citrus fruit in there. So far, so good. Uh, beer number two. Cheers. There is a difference, like very slightly. Um, this one is less on the malt, more on the citrus, a little hoppier. Um, this one's got a, a stronger malt base. Um, this one is slightly citrusier, if, think, if that's a word, fruitier, uh, a little hoppier. You know, they are very, very similar in taste. It is very minute um, in what is <coughs> what's what the difference is. Uh, yeah, I'd say that one's maltier and that one is fruitier and more citrusy. <coughs> Pardon me, a little hoppier. That one's the same, but more malt in the base. Um, uh, it's it's a tough one. It's it's hard to tell which is which. I'm going to have to hand it to this one. I think this one is just just slightly better. So what I'll do is I'll pass the beer off and then get the bottle, if I may. Um, so that's it. So I'm just going to unblindfold myself now so I can actually see what it is. Oh, it was. I thought I could do it from the smell. That's Harper's. I need to put my glasses on. I can't see anything. So there we go. Harper's is the winner by just, just a, a fraction. It's, yeah, it's a lot better. Kind of guessed it from the smell. But, flavour-wise, that is, it's slightly fruitier, slightly hoppier. It has less of a malty base. This isn't to say that Hobgoblin is bad. But, this one just takes the edge, um, which I actually was surprised by. Thought it would have been Hobgoblin. I thought I would have just been able to... Straight from the taste go, Hobgoblin, not Hobgoblin, but very, very, very close. Um, if you want to do this yourself uh, and just try them or get someone to open them, pour them and then give them to you so you can try it yourself, definitely do it. You, you won't, you, it's very hard to tell the difference. Um, but yeah, out of the two beers, it's, it's going to be Harper's um, Golden Nail. I think it's just marginally, literally fraction better. Um but that's my opinion. If you like that maltier taste, you're probably going to go with Hobgoblin. If you don't, then um, you probably go with Harper's like me. But um, this was a first for me, and I actually quite enjoyed this. Um, we'll probably do this again for Hobgoblin's Ruby Red. Pardon me. And Harper's Ruby IPA. Um, see if the difference is there. Because if this is so close with this one, I think it's going to be even harder with... Um, the Ruby one. So, if you like this video, um, I think I've already reviewed both of these. Um, whichever the score I've given, uh, scores will be out there and everything, so I'm not going to do a score. You just know this one's better. So, if you like the video, thumbs up, thumbs down, all that usual stuff. If you want me to do this again, please let me know, because this was actually interesting, and without the knowledge of which one is which, you kind of don't have that bias of what it is um but yeah if you want me to do it again let me know if you like the video all that stuff if you want to subscribe consider doing so because the show must go on etc etc so on and so forth and i'll see you later